Well, this hasn't happened in 36 years on a lighter note this morning, but could the long wait for a triple crown winner finally end today? We're going to look ahead to the Belmont California Chrome. California Chrome, if you didn't hear the first word, makes a <laughs> run at the record books later today. Uh, is this horse going to be the one that finally wins the triple crown after? I mean, it's been a 36 year dry spell here, people. Yes, it's, it, time. it's time. Some people would say Joe Cotter yes. with us here. Uh, you know, this horse is now a mile and a half away from sports history. And I, I, the story, the backstory of this horse, I think America is really pulling for this horse. It's the too good to be true story. I mean, at this point, we just... <laughs> You're not placing any bets, though. Right? I'm not, but I'm from Baltimore. We're Pimlico people. Yeah, and when you talk about the bets here, I mean, a lot of people are going to say, oh, maybe this will be the time that I actually bet something. They're going to go to the track, or maybe they're going to... Good point. You know, so the odds of this horse mm -hmm. to finish one, two, three, or four, you probably get even money. So... Now that I've confused you both and everybody else is watching. You've got your exactactors, <laughs> you've got your trifectas. <laughs> yes, yes the, the super box, all this. Uh, yeah. Um, just enjoy the two-minute race and we'll go from there. That's well, right. indeed. You, we, we trust you and we know you know what you're talking about. Yeah, kind of. so much. Thank you, Joe. Uh, so, you know, President Obama. And the Russian President Vladimir Putin, they had an informal meeting during those uh, D-Day celebrations. The two presidents have... All righty, as you're uh, sitting inside, you're probably wondering, what does... Uh, the weather have in store for me today. Yes, let's find out, especially uh, in New York at Belmont. Let's go over and check yes. with uh, Cameron. Good, it's time for the good stuff. This is the part of the show where we share some good news because, you know, Which we, we all need it. To do. We yes, need we it. all need it. So this story is about a group of Texas middle school, middle school students. Uh, they turned their knack for programming into an app to help one of their visually impaired fellow classmates. Yeah, it's actually called Hello Avi That's and nice. Middle Schoolers. Yes. Impressive. That, that is They're a... so far ahead of me, technologically. Oh. <laughs> I have trouble using the app sometimes <laughs> instead of uh, creating them. Oh, thank you so much for spending part of your morning with us. Your next hour of your new day starts right now. 47 minutes past the hour right now. Have you heard about this strange, newly discovered planet? Because it is expanding the possibilities, people, of life other life in the universe, as well as raising some questions about just how planets are formed. Yeah, it's dubbed Mega Earth. Via Skype uh, from Australia with theoretical physicist Lawrence Krauss. Lawrence, thank you for being here. He's also, by the way, the executive. Unbelievers there. Unbelievers, thank yeah. you, unbelievers, sorry about <laughs> yeah. that. Um, what, what did this new discovery mean to you when you heard about it? Well, it continues a long tradition over the last few years of, uh, of uh, life uh, in other places. Uh, Kepler 10C, close to the sun, well, closer, maybe too close, uh, for humans to live close. there. But, but could life exist on it, or would temperature make that impossible? Well, the temperature would make it impossible for life like we know it. Uh, and A colorful view of the universe to date, one of the most that NASA unveiled. Um, I mean, it is beautiful. Let's see if we can get that up here. But uh, Congratulations on the success of uh, the unbelievers, Lawrence Krauss. It was uh, good to Thank learn you. from you this morning. It was fun. You take care. Thank you, you Lawrence. You too. So, Saturday morning, 7 a.m., we are so glad to have your company. I'm Christy Paul. I'm Victor Blackwell. This is New Day Saturday, and we're following breaking news out of New Jersey this morning where 30 Rock actor uh, and SNL alum Tracy Morgan was involved it was actually about Sergeant Bo Bergdahl's nearly five years in captivity. Yeah, a senior U.S. official tells CNN that the soldier was kept in a cage. Aaron McPike has the latest now on President Obama's defense of this controversial prisoner swap. CNN's Aaron McPike joining us now live from Washington. Good morning to you, Aaron. We know that President Obama says he'd do this swap over again for Bergdahl, uh, despite the political firestorm it's causing on Capitol Hill. What are you hearing? What are the rumblings there? Christy, that's right. And the White Briefing last week on the Bergdahl case. Uh, they say that they're, uh, many of them, not satisfied with the answers coming out of the White House. What can they expect as we go into uh, next week? Well, actually, Victor, this is going to move to the House and five. White House force. Aaron, thank you so much. So ahead, uh, some fellow soldiers say that Bo Bergdahl is a deserter. Republicans are lashing out at the Obama administration uh, for swapping five Gitmo detainees for Sergeant Bergdahl. Uh, but some of them were not so angry when Bergdahl was released by the Taliban last weekend. So on Sunday, National Security Advisor Susan Rice praised Bergdahl in the hours after he was released. Listen to this. Yesterday, though, you heard a different stance from her. She, she kind of twisted it up a little bit when she spoke to CNN's Jim Acosta. Here's this. 
A little later, we're talking to a political analyst who says this is all, you know, as in his opinion, he's seeing a lot of hypocrisy. So yeah. we're going to continue to discuss this. Especially with the, the tweets that were deleted. You know, there were so, several right. members of Congress who were uh, praising uh, the, the work done to bring him home. And then a day or two or three later, uh, they deleted those tweets. But you wonder, tweets. is that really hypocrisy or is that the evolution of new knowledge that comes about? So we'll we're have gonna that. Have, we'll have that conversation. That conversation. And, and tweet us if you know, or, you know, get to us on Facebook and... Let us know what you think, if there's anything specific you want to know about it. Now, um, let's talk about the economy, because the government says, hey, we're in a recovery.